As the ghost devil tightens its grip around Aki's neck, he flashes back to a memory of dining with Himeno. She offers him a cigarette, and after some reluctance, Aki finally accepts. However, he notes that it's not right for her to encourage a minor to smoke. When she learns that he's underage, Himeno understands and takes the cigarette back. She promises to keep it safe and give it to him when he's older and needs something to take the edge off. The ghost devil releases Aki, its bony hand offering him a cigarette with easy revenge scrawled on it. Aki accepts the cigarette and tucks it into his pocket. He stands up, drawing his sword and marching towards the devil with a fierce determination. Remembering Himeno's advice that it can only sense fear, he mounts the devil and prepares to strike the killing blow. As he swings his sword, he swears to join Himeno soon in the afterlife. Akane watches in shock as Aki beheads the ghost devil. She begins to call out for the snake devil, but Kobani silences her with a knife to her throat. Aki intervenes, ordering Kobani not to kill Akane. He turns his attention to Kobani, asking why she stayed with public safety. Kobani reveals that they're expecting a bonus payment soon. In the cramped elevator, Denji grimaces as he watches Power Munch on a zombie's arm. Disgusted, he asks how she can eat something so repulsive. Power shrugs, insisting that meat is meat, whether it's pork, beef, or human flesh. Denji balks at the idea, and the two exchange heated words. Denji reminds Power that their job is to capture the Katana Man, and it would be best if she refrained from snacking on him. The tension in the elevator is palpable as they prepare for a possible showdown. Suddenly, the elevator doors slide open to reveal a group of zombies waiting on the seventh floor. Denji advises Power to keep quiet and avoid alerting the zombies to their presence. However, Power disregards his advice and loudly proclaims her name, taunting the zombies to come at her. She orders Denji to stay behind her and protect her, but as the elevator doors begin to close, Denji hesitates and decides to remain inside, leaving Power to face the zombies on her own. Power fights fiercely against the zombies, confident that Denji is providing backup and will bear witness to her strength. As the elevator doors open on the 13th floor, Denji finds himself face to face with Katana Man and two of his henchmen. Katana Man expresses a desire to talk and proposes that they may surrender, depending on Denji's demeanor. He reminds Denji that he killed his grandfather and his men's friends, and that they want justice. Denji offers an explanation for his actions, stating that his victims had turned into zombies. Despite Denji's insistence, Katana Man remains skeptical and questions whether Denji feels remorse for killing former human beings. Denji, however, denies any feelings of guilt. As the conversation continues, Katana Man reveals that Akane had performed an operation on him, replacing his heart with the Katana Devil. He confesses that he was unable to sleep after accidentally killing a zombie, which leads him to believe that Denji has lost his own humanity. Katana Man insists that if Denji still has any shred of conscience left, he should allow them to exact their revenge. After a moment of contemplation, Denji declines the offer. Enraged by Denji's decision, Katana Man declares his intention to kill him and transforms, along with his two henchmen. Katana Man launches an attack on Denji, sending them both flying off the building and onto the roof of a nearby building. They continue to fight, jumping from rooftop to rooftop, until Denji falls onto a moving train. Katana Man follows, questioning why Denji is fighting. Denji responds that he is fighting to protect the life he has now. The fight continues, eventually spilling inside the train and causing it to stop. As they face off, Denji recognizes the stance that Katana Man takes, but notices a woman standing next to him. Denji attempts to stop Katana Man, but the latter refuses to back down and slashes Denji's arm. In a swift motion, Katana Man repeats the action, cutting off Denji's other arm. Convinced that Denji is now defenseless, Katana Man demands that Denji apologize for killing his grandfather before he dies. However, Denji rises to his feet, revealing his secret weapon, a chainsaw protruding from his head. He charges at Katana Man, and the two engage in a fierce exchange of blows. Katana Man taunts Denji, asking if his grandfather never taught him when to quit. As Denji's head chainsaw suddenly broke, Katana Man demanded an apology for Denji's grandfather once again. Denji retorted, stating that Katana Man's predictable aim was foolish. However, before Katana Man could respond, he was split in two. 
Denji seized the opportunity to question Katana Man's hunter instincts, asking if his grandfather never taught him that beasts should never trust hunters. With Katana Man defeated, Denji revealed his ultimate secret, he had transformed his right leg into a chainsaw. Katana Man regained consciousness and found himself bound to the train with a chainsaw chain. Denji explained that they were not so different, and when Katana Man had relinquished his katana, he returned to being one piece. Denji acknowledged that he had to wait for the police to arrive, but he was troubled by something. He had killed Himeno, and now there was one less beautiful girl in the world. Although he would spend the rest of his life in prison, he did not regret his actions. Denji thought this was unfair, but Katana Man reminded him that he was merely a puppet of the Public Safety Bureau. After pondering for a moment, Denji had an idea. He announced that he would hold a tournament. Aki arrived on the scene and asked Denji what he meant by a tournament. Aki informed the others that Katana Man was under their control and provided their location. Denji invited Aki to join his ultimate tournament, but Aki was hesitant. Denji explained that Katana Man had shot Himeno, and they should make him suffer by taking turns hitting his groin. The person who could make him scream the loudest before the police arrived would be declared the winner. However, Aki was disheartened by this suggestion. He reminded Denji that their duty was to apprehend Katana Man, not to torture him for their own satisfaction. Besides, harming Katana Man would not bring Himeno back, nor would it honor her memory. Aki took out a cigarette he had obtained from Ghost Devil and looked at it for a moment before putting it back in his pocket. He then asked Denji what he would get if he won the tournament. Denji replied that the prize would be Katana Man's testicles. Katana Man was shocked and pleaded with them to stop as they approached him. However, Denji and Aki began to kick him relentlessly, wondering if Himeno could hear their requiem for her. According to Makima's report, the recent terrorist attack was initiated by a former civilian devil hunter named Akane Sawatari. Akane had made a pact with the gun devil and had supplied the Yakuza with guns, in exchange for their assistance in acquiring the chainsaw devil's heart. When questioned about the motive behind Akane's actions, Makima stated that they were unable to determine it, as the snake devil had killed Akane before they could find out. Makima suspects that Akane's death was the result of an involuntary suicide, likely caused by her contract with the gun devil. During the operation, Makima's team seized 1.4 kilograms of gun devil flesh from the building, which they combined with the 5 kilograms they had previously acquired. Upon doing so, the new, larger piece of flesh began to move towards the gun devil itself. Upon hearing this, Makima's superior asked where the gun devil is located. After dinner, Aki steps onto his balcony to smoke a cigarette. He picks out one with, Easy Revenger, written on it and takes a moment to examine it before lighting up and inhaling. Meanwhile, Denji is lost in a dream where he finds himself in a back alley, feeling younger. He notices a door that he's encountered in previous dreams but can never remember after waking up. As he approaches the door, he hears Pachita's voice calling out to him from behind it. Denji is eager to touch him again, but Pachita warns him not to open the door. In the midst of all this, a woman asks Denji if he prefers to be a country mouse or a city mouse. And with that, we conclude the first season of Chainsaw Man.